Hey everyone, uh, thanks for coming back. Restart, restart. I thought you laughed. Hey everybody, thanks for coming back to our YouTube channel. We're really excited to bring you uh, our grocery video that everybody's been asking for. So I'm um, gonna get into it now. And, Literally uh, everyone has been asking for this video. It's actually really funny. Yeah. <laughs> so we thought we'd make it. And the one thing that our families like always are asking us so like, oh, are you eating okay? Are you guys getting enough to <laughs> eat? So here you go. You can kind of see what we eat throughout the week yeah. or two weeks. We yeah. don't really know how long this is gonna last, but We'll see. <laughs> yeah. So uh, prepare to be kind of probably blown, blown away yeah. um, with the pricing. Everything costs so much more here. And I don't know, like wages kind of help with it a little bit. Like, But still. But still so many people live like below the poverty line and not everyone has jobs here. So like being able to afford food and like healthier food, it's, it can be pretty hard. Yeah, for sure. So, right, I'm gonna get right into it. As you can see, okay. we got quite the list, the list <laughs> yeah. of stuff here. So I'm gonna get into it here. So our first thing that we bought today was our new blender. Which we, we are wanted. returning. We actually are returning because we found it for 25 bucks on Amazon <laughs> and yeah. we spent 80 yeah. on it here. It was 80 dollars. 80 bucks. And we could have primed this. So. We could have gotten the prime. So. I'm gonna have to wait a little bit longer before my smoothies. But, but you know what? There's gonna be some extra money in the pocket. <laughs> Amazon's a lifesaver here. Absolutely. And this guy's going back. So yeah. $78.99 is what we paid for that. Yeah. Uh, next thing that we got was our, uh, two of our bowls. We actually don't have them out right now, but we no. got two new soup bowls and they were $5 each. They're like little plastic ones because the ones that we got here, like they're just like the really small cereal ones and it's just like the have some more, uh, more food than that. So, we got some bigger bowls. Uh, also, what we don't have that right now is we got two big like Tupperware containers. So two two containers probably like that by like that, just them. normal size, right? And uh, so they're seven bucks for two yeah. of them. You can literally buy them at the dollar store back home at like Dollarama for like a dollar each. Or something. Like two bucks <laughs> each. But you know what? We needed it. Yeah. Next thing that we got was, so we recently got our Keurig, which has been amazing to have. Like yes. I, Thanks, I Mom. love my coffee. I love my cappuccinos. And yeah. one thing that I like having in my coffee is my flavor. So what I got <laughs> oh, was this guy. So this is Coffee Mate Vanilla. <laughs> this is the good good right here. And that guy was six bucks. Oh yeah, I think we'll insert the prices of how much this would cost back home in Ontario, like on the screen. So you see that's that there's numbers up there, then that's what it's from. Yeah, you can so. kind of compare and yeah. think about it. Whereas like so like six bucks here is probably like, I don't know how much that costs. Three three seventy nine probably back home. Yeah, and I drink the non dairy one, like this so common for coffee. So that was also six dollars. <laughs> I think it's like probably around like three dollars or like three, four dollars back home. Back home. So those are two things down. Uh, yeah. Next thing that we got was we do have some fish that's in our diet, so we like getting tuna for you know our, our proteins and stuff yeah. like the pasta, our salads. I but we don't have <laughs> also <laughs> kind of slack. <laughs> We're up. already slacking on this video, but it's fine. <laughs> but um, just to put in perspective, like just a normal size can of tuna is like almost three dollars. Yeah, three bucks. Three bucks. Two fifty nine. Which got. honestly, I thought was gonna be way more expensive than that. So we kind of got. Lucky. We kind of got lucky there because I don't think they're much cheaper at home. No. At least the ones that we got. So we got pretty lucky there. Mm -hmm. Next thing that we got was our pasta sauce, which I also don't think is out. Um, so we got two things of like Hunts. We really like the Hunts yeah. brand, right there. There we go. So we like these. These are like the cheapest ones at No Frills. So these uh, are five forty nine yeah. per can. We got two of them because we're pasta people, yeah. and uh, yeah, they're probably like two bucks at home. So yeah, to get it's almost like. Uh, at least double the cost on the stuff up here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then, uh, where is it? Oh, what are you looking for? Yeah, our guy. $8 sweet potato. So eight, eight, well, $8.78. This is almost a $9 sweet potato. Normally, we'd want to get like a, a bag, bag. With, like a bunch of them in there. But they didn't have any bags. They only had like giant ones. This isn't even the biggest one, by the way. They're way bigger. Um, and I was like, that's fine. Like, I'll just cook them up and eat them throughout and like throw them in my bowls and stuff. So I was like, yeah, I'll just get one. It probably costs the same as a bag. 
But this but literally like, cost nine dollars. Yeah. Nine dollars. Nine dollars. What? <laughs> sure. It's and fine. then we got our also our little bag of our red potatoes here. These are they were on sale for two fifty. Two fifty. So we yeah. actually got a good deal on them. Yeah, we <laughs> we saved four dollars <laughs> <laughs> on them because they were on sale. Yeah. What else did we get? Oh, we got our bananas, mm -hmm. which are they were behind you, but they were behind you, but now they're they're gone. Mm -hmm. Um, and those were uh, five bucks for a normal thing of bananas. Which. So. To be honest, I don't even know what a real like I thing mean, of like, bananas costs at home because I always buy like those 79 cent bags that are like already ripe, which we have in our freezer already. We already have like three of them. That's why I needed a blender. <laughs> and then what did we get? We got our lettuce there that you can maybe see in the shop. Just like your regular oats. Just normal romaine. romaine lettuce. Three three heads of lettuce. That is $7. Seven dollars. Seven bucks. That's probably at least half the price at home. And see, the thing is that we always bought our produce at, in the summer and fall, like at, at Harris, Harris Farms. And, Mary, yeah. and so we already like saved money on that rather than going grocery shopping at NoPro. So like now it's like, hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, I used to go from having like, this would be like one head of lettuce in Harris. That's like literally the size of all these three put together for like a, a buck fifty. Yeah. So you're spending $7 on three little, little ones. ones and uh, you know, you want to eat healthy, you gotta pay. <laughs> To eat healthy, so yeah, it hurts the wallet a bit, but <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I don't know. I think instead of going through the list, we should just go through this because we don't have half that stuff up. So we'll just go through this. Yeah. So next that we're gonna get on to are our coconut yogurt. Coconut yogurt, and that guy is somewhere on here, and I don't know. I think this five eighty nine. Yeah, I think this is five eighty nine. Five eighty nine for that. Which again, I never really ate this at home. I just eat it here now because it's healthy. So. You know, we're trying to do like granola bowls with like frozen fruit on top and then Yeah. You know, I have no idea how much it costs at home, but again, we'll put it in the video and we'll see. Oh, um our chicken. Yes, our chicken. We got three. Uh, they're twelve bucks for this each. Yeah. We got three of them. So we got three of them. So yeah, they're around like twelve dollars, twelve eleven dollars. And we just like to stock up instead of having to go to the grocery store so often, which is another thing I wanted to point out is like it's not like we drop all this money throughout the week like multiple times it's like everything that we have we try to we try finish it multiples up before yeah and then like so we'll, we'll like for pasta and stuff like spaghetti you know we buy like these pre-packaged uh, ground beef money like anybody yeah. does so we're like five bucks for a half a kilogram I yeah believe. but we'll buy like three at a time we'll buy like three or four that way we can just go through them all before we buy any more that way we're not spending more money than we need to, and we're not buying more things. Like all the time. At, like, yeah, at one time. So, you know, we try and be smart with how everything is up here, you know. As much as you can. As much as you can. <laughs> but sometimes we do want to spend 80 bucks on a pizza, but you know. Yeah, 80 bucks on a pizza. You know, like, you, you crave it. You don't have your $11 dollar pizza pizza <laughs> deals anymore up here. Yeah. So, you go uh, yummy shawarma. Shout out. Yes. You guys are delicious. Yeah. And, uh. We're living for it. Anyways, our frozen veggies that we always have because. I literally, I was gonna buy this because I love broccolini, like the little skin ones. So I was like, cool, like I'll buy some. It was like a tiny little package with like four strands of broccolini. And then I, I looked and it was like $11.94 and I was like, mm. yeah, no, not happening. <laughs> not doing that. <laughs> Next thing is our these, breakfast hash browns because yeah, we love them. So these are like my favorite thing to have in breakfast now. So like, like back home, what we did most mornings for breakfast was avocado on toast with egg. And then yeah. some sriracha on top. But you know, since avocado is up here, like six bucks for an avocado. Per avocado. Per avocado. <laughs> That's kind of cut out of the diet right now. Actually, I think it's more than that. I think Might it's like eight dollars. Is it? Anyway, it's yeah. expensive. It's yeah. not reasonable at yeah. all for an avocado, and that kind of hurts my heart. <laughs> um, so I've substituted into making our breakfasts with the toast with the egg, bacon on top, or turkey bacon on top, if I'm trying to be healthy. If you know, your boys got healthy. And then, uh, I throw some hash brown on top with uh, the good, good sriracha. And only sriracha brand sriracha. You can't go any other because it, it's not. It's oh yeah, which costs fourteen dollars. Yeah, I spent fourteen bucks on that. On that thing of sriracha. <laughs> of sriracha. So yes. yeah, I the wallet too. I think the next thing we got, like probably, are the peppers. And <laughs> I don't know. I think this was like five dollars, but there's four in here. Again, I don't really know how much it costs at the store. Back home because I mean we, you could probably get like one of these for like two ninety nine. So you're really not like oh, like overly expensive. 
Yeah. For for like some stuff, like a lot of the stuff up here, like your your normal like necessities, like egg, like egg, yeah. bread, and there's a northern such, it's, um, subsidy. It's it's normal price, right? Like normal. you know, like normal price, but this is six bucks. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. But it's because you know I, I like my bread. That's that's but, the bread I like. And it's, yeah. it's, you can get like things that are cheaper. like like I don't know deemed. Normal, normal like, like you can buy like a loaf of fry bread at like the other grocery store for like 269 yes which isn't bad but it's not as big of a loaf which funny story is like there's two main grocery stores here i think there's like three of them could be back in Canada's, but there's north mart and then there's ventures and they're like right down the road from each other yeah. and <laughs> we like ventures a little bit better just because like we usually find our stuff there but some things you have to buy at north mart if you blocks and cheese especially yeah like things I'd like say. that but when i when we first came here we had no spices like no salt and pepper or anything <laughs> so i was like okay like on our next grocery shop like we'll, we'll get some salt, and, salt pepper. and pepper actually can you show them the salt and pepper oh yeah so so we were looking and i was like okay i can't find any salt and pepper and this was the only ones i could find here we go so this is your regular everyday like teeny like, tiny normal salt stuff pepper. like they come in a two pack yeah. so you can buy these at the two stores here the exact same the exact same exact same ones but if you want to feel rich you go and buy them at Ventures when they're sixteen dollars. If you want to feel, oh, sorry, sixteen ninety nine. If you want to, you know, if you're a normal person that just wants the exact same stuff at a normal everyday price, you go North Mart for something like that, and it is four dollars. Which I still think you can buy these <laughs> at the dollar store in a bag. You can buy them for like a bucket at home, but you know, yeah. something like that, around that, anyways. Yeah. Um, and our English muffins. I don't know how much those cost. Oh, probably not that bad because I think they're like under the subsidy. English muffins. Hmm. I'm gonna say they're like three or four bucks. Yeah, actually, I have no idea how much. And then are. our basil, because you know we like we like basil brand. Like personally, I prefer butter, but butter is quite expensive up here. So margarine is usually like a little bit better. And like for just a normal size container, it's not the big one. This was actually five sixty nine for this. So like you're probably gonna spend like maybe three dollars less, two dollars less at home to get this but uh it's not that it's not it's not that. it's not too bad because you know like it, it's it's again it's one of those things that i guess are kind of deemed as like a subsidized thing because you kind of need it in your diet yeah <laughs> to an extent oh how much were our apples we got four oh, apples. oh yes we got four apples and um i think it was seven dollars for four apples and we have one pomegranate yeah. one pomegranate was 4.99 so five bucks for a single pomegranate that can kind of give you I don't know how much that is at home. There's I'm passion fruit there. I'm gonna say like two seventy nine for a pomegranate. I think it's so easy at home in Angus. Yeah. No, actually, it wasn't passion. It was dragon fruit. Dragon fruits are not cheap. I think it was fourteen dollars. Fourteen dollars. Yeah. I mean, you probably spend like three, three, four dollars at home for one. So you're. Yeah. And we got kiwis. Yeah, we got more. four kiwis for five dollars. Yeah, so they're dollar twenty five per um, kiwi, which is you know again a little bit more, but again, kiwi is kind of like an exotic fruit to you know, an extent. So. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, and then we got some oranges, and I don't even know how much our oranges cost. It was like a regular, oh, like, bag of orange oranges. Gin. Oranges? Yeah, oranges. um, oranges. Oh, our peppers were five forty nine. by the way. I just found yeah. them on our very, very long receipt. <laughs> um, our oranges. So they cost something. I can't really find them right now, because I'm not a receipt expert, but... Yeah. They are probably like, oh, ten dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Ten bucks for Ten our bucks for a bag of, bag of oranges. oranges. There's like six like oranges in there. Two, two bucks at home. There's eight oranges. Eight oranges. Um, but yeah. <laughs> and when we lay this out, like it's really not that much. Like I'm like looking here now. I'm like, what are we gonna make? Like we have like mm -hmm. our basics, like rice and stuff that we got at Costco before we came up because we knew. Yeah. Like everything here, if it's heavier, it costs more because it has to be flown in or shipped in, and things that are shipped in cost less. There's like the. The price tags will be yellow or black, and I don't remember which one is which, but one means it's shipped in and one means it's flown in. And obviously now it's becoming winter, so the sea the sea freight is gone now. Yeah, so everything's going to be uh, air little, cargo, so you're going to have expensive. more expensive over the, these winter months. Yeah, but um, it can be like dramatic difference. Like, we don't really buy, we try to buy things that cost less because, you know, we're on a budget, yeah. but um, there's like... You, you can spend a lot more like, if you really wanted to. If I feel you like, wanted to, it is not hard to spend like probably 
Like Wait. maybe close to a thousand dollars, like in a single grocery trip. For, yeah. Like a normal like, amount of groceries. Like we for all of this. We we got forty items. Like that's what we bought was forty individually priced items. Okay, but when there were like forty things, it was well, just no, like because no, like, candies like, and apples and stuff. Yeah, yeah. But um, our grand total was okay. You gotta do a drum roll for this. Like, what was our grand total? Three hundred and two dollars and sixty one cents for, for what you see here. <laughs> and like. Again, our little uh, kind of added, blender like, here did uh, take up $80 wow. of that. But again, like I I don't think we would ever spend like $250 on this at home. No, no. Like but, I don't remember ever spending this much on fun, like just groceries at home. <laughs> ever. Ever. <laughs> but um, it's fine. And just like, we try to make it last as long as we can. And like we said, like we have basics like rice and our pastas our pasta and everything like that. We got some soy sauce today too. Okay. How much is that soy sauce? I'm, soy sauce, I'm gonna say. I got the no name brand, like, which I always get no name brand. So, everything. no name brand soy sauce. Where do you have my guy? 439. Yeah, 439. Which is so, probably like, again, $2. Like, mo most, actually, I have no idea because I never bought it. Most before. items like here are probably, you know, like two or three dollars aside from like chicken and, you know, like potatoes and such. Like most of the things here will be in like a two dollar price range at home, so you gotta really kind of think like you're spending at least like double for yeah. mostly everything, sometimes triple or more. Yeah. Like for us, like again, like with our here, we really do like having like our coffees and our teas and stuff. And if you were no to buy, Starbucks. Like, yeah, no Starbucks, Starbucks closed down because I lived here last time, so that really sucks. <laughs> but there's Black Heart, so yeah, we do have a really good cafe just... here. That's. Honestly, I say comparable. <laughs> Very comparable. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty good. It's pretty good. I don't know. But like, what I was getting at for the Keurig thing was like, you can go out and you know like the normal boxes of like Keurig cups, like you get like I don't know, 30, 30 K cups or something. Like twenty four. So twenty four. It's like fifty dollars versus us buying like on Amazon, say fourteen for like fifteen bucks. Yeah. So Amazon really like saves our life with heavier things because you won't have to pay that like. Extra the shipping, shipping costs, you know, we try and have everything that's like through Prime only. Yeah. Because we really try and take full, you know, use of our, our membership there. Because mm -hmm. it really does save us a lot, a lot of money and a lot of time. Mm -hmm. So, you know, like we can buy like hand items and like chips and stuff. Like, you know, like for chips and stuff, you do have to buy multiples though because they're not going to just ship you like one bag of crispers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Actually, but, I wanted to show them inside of our cupboard too after, so we'll do that after. Yeah. Because there's a couple things after. in there that... Like this is just like one grocery haul. This it's is, like yeah. pretty basic and it costs three hundred and two dollars. But we, I know we have some more expensive things. Yeah. So it's gonna make like a chili and, like I said, like heavier things cost more. Oh yeah, I think I have a couple clips of like cranberry juice, which is like twenty four fucking dollars. Freaking dollars! I probably should have that out. Twenty four dollars. Don't demonetize. We're not even there yet. We can't even. Don't do that. Sorry. <laughs> um. And. Yeah, like we. Oh, and on like the almonds stuff. $13. So like $13 for like a normal carton of just almond milk like. Which so. I live off of by the way. I like love almond milk and my the smoothies, dark everything. Chocolate. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, the dark chocolate one's the best. Yeah. But yeah, we'll show you like kind of the things that are in our cupboard because I want to show like the cans and. Yeah, we can give you guys like a kind of like a view inside the pantry. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is our like main pantry kind of area. Yeah. So <laughs> this first one is actually like our snack area, which is kind of empty right now because chips are like seven bucks a bag, as I said. Yeah. Um, so that's why Amazon is the way to go. But our parents are awesome and sent us care packages from Amazon Prime and we got like a lot of snacks, which we've pretty much gone through because like I said, we try to finish everything before we buy anything else. Yeah. So, you know, we've got two granola bars left <laughs> from our pack. They're actually like chocolate quinoa bars. Um, we do have a bag of quick oats back there that we did pick up today, but I don't think they rang in on the receipt to be honest Because yeah. I can't find them anywhere, but I think it was like seven dollars seven dollars eight dollars for it So you can kind of compare it to like two three bucks at home. Yeah. Yeah, but um, so These are some of like the items that you would probably want to buy on Amazon like canned items So, you know, you've got your your red kidney beans diced tomatoes you want to get like cake mixes and like yeah, the icings and then like, again, the tuna was actually like decently priced. Yeah. And then you've got something like our Brooksides. 
which I love. These were really good. They are very, very good. I needed good. these at the time. <laughs> <laughs> but they are $20 for that bag. That was 20 bucks for this bag. I don't know how much is this at home. Probably like 11 or $12 at home. Yeah, I'd buy it at Costco. Yeah, so you know, which we get that. And then, you know, you're probably spending like $6 on the beans and then like another $8 on the tomatoes. And then like- You're gonna hate me because I'm not buying this back neat. But no, 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 no. Neatness, who needs that? You. No, <laughs> but up here is like, so we keep all our pasta and our soup and our, you can see our big, big bag of rice, like right there, that yeah. guy, we, we splurged on him at Costco in Ontario before coming up here. So he was 16 bucks, which was probably at least like 40 bucks up here for him, you know? So, yeah. you know, we've got like, like pancake a, mixes. Oh no, my mom bought us this one on Yeah, Amazon. so that's a, that's a, key, a quinoa pancake mix. We've got our Bisquick, like, Bisquick ones, which we love. But we bought one here before she sent to Yeah, so we, it was yeah. like a lot of money. A lot of money. <laughs> oh, and my cookies. Okay, so, so I don't really remember how much these cookies cost. I don't know if there's like an actual price on here. But again, I needed these at the time. And I bought two things. I bought this and I bought I think you bought a bag of like Miss Vicky's chips. I did. And that whole bill cost me like twenty four dollars. <laughs> twenty four dollars. For like a bag of chips and And these, these cookies. cookies. You know, you gotta have your sweets, you know. You and can't go around without them. Just to add, I bought Reese's pieces the other day. Okay, so I went to the gas station without getting gas and we bought some food. And literally what we what did we get? We got like a whole bunch of junk food because we were really bored and we stay up at night. Yeah. And <laughs> We went for a drive and we're like, oh yeah, let's just go buy all this stuff. And I saw like the cake mix and everything and I was like, oh, this is good. Like I'll bake these and bring them to the group home and everyone's going to be really happy. Still haven't done that yet. But um, <laughs> <laughs> Life of night workers. Yes. So, um, yeah, so we'll just buy a bunch of things. And I think I came out with like $54. I think I paid at this convenience store and I bought cake mix, two drinks. Okay, so we don't ever drink pop, but we just really want to pop that day. So we bought it, my Mountain Dew, which I didn't even finish. I think I have like five sips out of it. I don't even know where it is now. And it was like $8, it was $7.99 for mm -hmm. like the single one. Like a normal like, like size pop one. bottle. And then what did you get? I got the peach juice from Tim Hortons because it's probably the best drink you could ever buy at a yeah, convenience store. Yeah, because the store. convenience store is like a Tim Hortons on yeah, the but, side, but it's like a self-serve, so it's not really a Tim Hortons. Yeah, I, I spent like $3 on the peach juice, which is actually a pretty good deal. So, yeah, that's actually not bad. It actually wasn't too bad. And then we got Reese's Pieces, which everything said it was half off. 50% off the Halloween stuff because it was like two days after Halloween. So I was like, sick. Like, this is giving me a good deal. Like, I really want chocolate. Like, you know. And it was $17 for like my little thing of like Reese's Pieces. The same like day we had pizza, and which was $84 for our pizza. And then it was just like, it was an expensive of, like, day. like really bad food, but like. No regrets. You know, no regrets. <laughs> kind of regrets, but like not really because it's delicious. But yeah, I don't really think we have that much else here to show. Like I said, like this is all that we had, and this was three hundred and two. Yeah, this is so. This is three hundred dollars minus a few <laughs> items, but um, you can kind of just get an overview of like what we got, and you can really take into your own mind what you'd probably spend on this at home, and be like, oh damn. <laughs> so. You know, it's, yeah, it is expensive up here, but you it's, gotta yeah, It's eat. important to know that, like, if you're ever thinking about moving here, because so many people have asked me or, or told me that they want to move up here and, like, how to get up here and how to do it. And, yeah, I think it's important to realize, like, you're not really going to be in society, like, the same as you would back home, especially if you're living in Ontario. When I first moved here, I lived in Newfoundland, and I found it wasn't the biggest change, but um, it was still, like, it still was a change, I guess. But in Ontario, I mean, yeah, like you go to here. certain parts of Newfoundland, there's no trees, so it's kind of the same as here. I don't really think that's a thing, but okay. Oh, it definitely is. <laughs> but um, coming from Ontario, it's definitely a big difference because we don't have like options for farmers markets. We literally have two places we go to get groceries, and it's just a lot more expensive, and you don't have the Starbucks, and you don't have McDonald's, Big Macs, yeah, there's or no fast food. There's, yeah, we get the snack. The, oh, the snack. That's like our weakness. We do get that. <laughs> Once a week. 20, 24 hour delivery. But again, like we get like, what, what do we get the snack? Two poutine, I mean, we get like, I get this thing wrap. called the Big Snack Burger, which is, it's kind of like my Big Mac replacement since I'm not able to get that. Yeah. And it's, it's delicious. Um, and then, yeah, I get the burger with the poutine and then like an iced tea or something. Yeah. And it's like, 
$75, eighty dollars. Like including no, maybe not that much. Like, no, like that's just delivery. But if we go pick it up, it's like sixty bucks. Sixty bucks, yeah. yeah. So you know, like again, you're paying a little bit more, but it is really like, you know, you pay for what you want up here. Yeah, you could easily just get away without eating all that stuff. <laughs> but um, what the fun is there? There is no fun without fast food in my. <laughs> no one's eat healthy all the time. Not me. Yeah. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this part. We're gonna insert some clips of um, going around the grocery store so you can kind of see other things that we didn't buy, but um, if there are things that you have in your everyday life, then you can kind of see what they cost, and if you were to ever come here, then what you could expect to pay every week or however you want to do that. Yeah. So, thank you so much, and bye! It, sorry, so we forgot to say one last thing in the video before we finish out. Um, we want to know what you guys would like to see next. So would you guys like maybe like a Q and A or something? You know, send us your ideas. Let us know what you want to see. We're always open for suggestions.